Welcome to the first of two videos on the conic section, the parabola. And the goal of this video is to identify the key components to a parabola and also to graph a parabola in standard form. A parabola is the set of all points x, y that are equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix and a fixed point called the focus. So this blue line would be our directrix and this red point would be the focus the parabola consists of all the points that are the same distance from the point as they are to this horizontal line. So the length of this segment here would equal the length of this segment here. The length of this segment here would equal the length of this segment here. And the same for this segment and this segment. And the same would be true for any point on this parabola. Before we take a look at the standard form of an equation of a parabola, let's go ahead and take a look at the graphs of parabolas. Some parabolas have a vertical axis, as we see here on the left. Sometimes this is called the axis of symmetry. And on the right, we have a horizontal axis or horizontal line of symmetry. Remember, this is the line where if you were to fold the parabola across that, it would match up perfectly with the other half. Or we can say it's symmetrical across that line. As we saw on the previous screen, every parabola will have a directrix as well as a focus. And then lastly, every parabola also has a vertex. It's the only point that is on the axis and on the parabola. Let's take a look at the standard form of an equation of a parabola now. If the parabola has a vertical axis, as we see here on the left, it will be in this form. Notice the x part of the equation is being squared. So whenever the x part of the equation is being squared, we will have a vertical axis, as we see here. This shouldn't be too hard to remember because we have graphed parabolas in the form of y equals x squared before, and they always either opened up or opened down. The coordinates of the vertex of the parabola will be hk, so we can determine the vertex by inspecting the equation. Next, we should be able to look at the equation and determine the value of a, and that's going to be extremely important because a will tell us the distance from the vertex to the focus, and it will also tell us the distance from the vertex to the directrix. So if this was our graph, we could determine the coordinates of the focus by adding a to the y-coordinate of the vertex, and we could find the equation of the directrix by subtracting a from the y-coordinate of the vertex. Now if the y part of the equation is being squared, this indicates that we will have a horizontal axis, as we see here on the right. But the vertex will still be hk, and a will still tell us the distance from the vertex to the focus, as well as the distance from the vertex to the directrix. But in this case, if this was our graph, we would add a to the x-coordinate of the vertex to find the focus, and subtract a from the x-coordinate of the vertex to determine the equation of the directrix. So based upon whether we have a vertical or horizontal axis, that'll affect whether we add or subtract a to the x or y coordinate of the vertex. There's one more thing we want to mention before we try to graph some of our own. Now these notes here just formalize what we just said about how to determine the coordinates of the focus as well as the equation of the directrix. So the last thing we want to talk about is the lattice rectum. And this is the chord through a focus parallel to the directrix, as we see here in green for a vertical axis and horizontal axis. And what's nice about that is it has a length of 4a. And we can determine the value of 4a by looking at the equation in standard form. So this will tell us how wide or how narrow our parabola will be. Let's go ahead and take a look at a couple examples of our own. The first thing we should notice about this equation is the x part is being squared. Therefore, we're going to have a vertical axis. Next, we should be able to determine the coordinates of the vertex by looking at this equation. Remember, the vertex has the coordinates hk. So if we see x plus 2, the x coordinate would be negative 2. And if we see y minus 1, the y coordinate would be positive 1. Next, if we can determine the value of a, we should be able to determine the coordinates of the focus as well as the equation of the directrix. Well, 4a is equal to 4, therefore a is equal to 1. Let's go ahead and graph some of this now. We're going to plot the vertex at negative 2, 1. 
Next, we know we have a vertical axis and it passes through the vertex. Let's go ahead and sketch that. And this line would have the equation x equals negative 2. One thing we didn't mention before was if a is positive, this graph is going to open up. If a is negative, it's going to open down. So this graph is going to open up. Let's go ahead and write that down. So if this parabola opens up, we know the focus will be inside the parabola and it will be one unit above the coordinates of the vertex. So we'll add one to the y coordinate to find the focus. So this would be the point negative two, two. Now the directrix will be a horizontal line one unit below the vertex in this case. So if we go one unit below the vertex, this point here would be one point on the directrix. So this equation here, so this line here would be the equation of the directrix, and this would be y equals zero. Now we know the parabola opens up, so it will look something like this, but we're not really sure how wide it will be. But now if we sketch the endpoints of the lattice rectum, we'll have two more additional points on that parabola. The lattice rectum would have length 4a, so we're going to sketch a segment four units long through this green point parallel to the directrix. And that would look like this. So this endpoint and this endpoint are on that parabola, and that should be enough information to make a nice sketch. It would look something like this. Again, we have our directrix, we have our focus, and we have our parabola. Now you notice I did include some notes down here. But I think if we can logically determine where the focus and directrix should be, it's going to be a lot easier than trying to memorize these notes based upon whether it has a vertical or horizontal axis. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more. Notice now the y part of the equation is being squared, which indicates we're going to have a horizontal axis. Our vertex will still have the coordinates h, k, so the x coordinate will be positive 1 and the y coordinate will be negative 2. Let's go ahead and find the value of a. We know that 4a equals negative 8, so that means a will equal negative 2. Notice now we have a negative value of a, and so what that means is that our parabola, instead of opening right in the positive direction, will open left in the negative direction. Let's go ahead and plot our vertex, 1, negative 2. Now we're going to take the absolute value of a now to determine the distance from the vertex to the focus. So the focus will be two units from the vertex and it will be to the left because the parabola opens to the left. So we'll move two units to the left. This will be our focus, negative one, negative two. And the directrix will be two units to the right of the vertex. So it'll pass through this point and it will be a vertical line. And this is the equation x equals 3, and this is our directrix. So right now we only have one point on this parabola that we know opens to the left, but if we can sketch the lattice rectum, we can determine how wide or how narrow this parabola will be. The lattice rectum will have a length of 8 units. So we're going to sketch a segment that starts four units above the focus and stops four units below the focus. So it would look like this. And the endpoints of this segment would be two points on the parabola. So you see here. So our parabola will pass through these three points. It will look something like this and something like this. Okay, that'll do it for this video. In the next video, we'll talk about how to graph parabolas in general form, and we'll also review the major components of a parabola. Thank you for watching.